Okay, everyone, our next section, 11.7, is geometric probability. And when we talk about probability, that is the probability of an event occurring is a measure of the likelihood that that event will occur. It's a number between 0 and 1. And we usually write it in fraction form, decimal, or percent. And for us right now, we're going to focus on writing in decimal form. Okay? The geometric probability, P, and that's how you see it re referred to, P, capital P, is a ratio that involves a geometric measure, such as the length or the area. So when we look at probability, the probability of some event, maybe some event A, is going to be written as the probability of okay, probability of A, where I'm going to put A in parentheses. This is the probability of what I want to happen inside the A, inside the parentheses. So if we look at geomet the geometric probability, let's look at probability and length. And so, so I have a segment here from A to B, segment AB, and within segment AB we have another segment CD right here. So what we're going to look at is the probability of a point, some point K, some value K, chosen at random being on segment CD. So some value K, and what is the probability that it will fall in this CD range, in the CD segment? And this is going to be the ratio of the length of CD to the length of AB. So the probability that K is on CD, this is how we're going to write that. The probability of point K being on segment CD is written like this. We put length of segment CD over the length of the whole thing, segment AB. So we get, just like it said here, the ratio of CD to AB. And so that 2, whenever I see 2, that's the, the bar, that's that division line. So the length of CD over the length of AB. The portion over the whole length. So let's do an example. If CD were to be 3 and AB were 10, so say CD here, we'll say that's 3. And the whole thing, let's say the whole thing were to be 10. Then I want the probability that K is on C. So the probability, you can rewrite this if you want, is on CD. The probability that that point's going to be on CD would be this, the length of CD over the length of the whole segment, AB, which is 10. And so we're going to do that fraction and do the, do the division, 3 divided by 10, and that's going to give me 0.3. And so that would be my probability. Probability is 0.3. The probability that P, that's a decimal, is on CD. Okay, on the next slide here we're looking at probability and area. And so J, area J is a region that it's a region, a larger region, that contains a smaller region, M. There's my smaller region, M, in the middle. So the probability that any point, K, is in this region that's going to be in region J, some point K, that I choose at random will fall in region M, is the ratio of the area of M to the area of J. So PK the, uh, the probability, probability that K is in region M would look like this. I would take the area of M and divide it by the area of section J, of region J. Okay? So if the area of J is 12 feet squared, we'll say this area is 12 feet squared, and the area of M is 5 feet squared, then the probability, the probability that K is in region 
M would be the area of the small region inside, which is 5, divided by the area of the larger region, 12. And my probability, 5 over 12, if you do that division, is 0.42. That's the probability. So, and if you look at this too, they're feet squared. My top unit would be feet squared. The bottom unit would be feet squared. And the feet squareds would cancel. So I'm just left with that decimal, 0.42. That is the probability. And so that's it. Um, the probability. One way I like to, to discuss this is if you look at the larger region, J. So if I think about this being a box, okay, and then I have a smaller, say, another small box inside that, and I toss a coin, what is the probability that it's going to land in the smaller box when I just toss it in? Well, this is how we find that probability. The smaller region over the larger region. So the smaller region goes on top, and the larger piece, the bigger outside piece, is going to go on the bottom, and then we do the division. Okay, happy dividing.